Pleasant good afternoon to each and every one of you in Georgetown, Guyana. According to the breaking news, someone told the news that he was paid seven or six million dollars to kill the President David, the Honorable David Granger. Now, I must say it clearly, I condemn these kind of these kind of things. Without a reason, no one got a right to attack or to kill or to dismantle another human being. Not from hearsay or dare say, or sometimes what people may say in anger. But coming from the news, this young man was given six or seven million offer to kill the president of the country. Why must I say, even though I condemn it, why must I say a man would offer a man that amount of money, which is nothing in US value, to kill a president? A nobleman, a man whose first time in the history of Guyana independence to now has set free prisoners. Give them a second and a third chance to human civilization and so they can make life for their family and change their life around. Giving the criteria of Guyana where Indian as Kodi, black man as nigger fighting each other for a country don't fucking belong to them. Yes. We all talk about independence, but Africa belongs to black people, and that is where your independence is. We talk about independence, and India belongs to you Indian people, and that is where your independence is, not Georgetown, Guyana. You were giving a country, because the British run away and give it to you, after World War II, they had no money to upkeep with the countries around the world that it was governing. So they had to give it up and they give it to you, and you knowing that it is not your right. This is a holy Quran for you bastards that call yourself Muslims. And this is a part of the Bible for you hypocrites as Christian. All your politicians swear on these books, even the Ramayana. I don't know much of the Hindu text, the Ramayana, and why I didn't touch it. Because the mind is not mature as yet. That is why the name remains Ramayana. So I won't touch that. Or the Vedas, you invade too many questions and too many honest things. So I don't touch the Hindu text. I touch the Ramayana, I mean the Bible and the Quran. Which the Quran is a basics from the ending of the Bible that contain everything the Bible got. They go hand in hand with two similar differences. But I'm not dealing with that. All you judges, lawyers and ministers swear on those books. To honor the laws of the country and to do what is right for humanity and carry the country forward. But yet a lot of you are hypocrites, wicked, treacherous, devious, and evil. You lock up each other. You lie on people to get where you want to go. You will kill Christ and still look for him pretending you're innocent. But God have your days and your number. And I want you to understand. F and S, which is fuck and scunt, is not curse. But a lot of you, your children, children shall eat the bread that you need. The wicked things that you are doing to people shall backfire upon them. Plenty will run crazy. Plenty of your daughters will wonder where their life is and your sons. It's only time. They will never inherit what wrong you have done for people, especially for taking care of yours and starve others. Especially knowing that you all are children, grandchildren of slaves and cheap labor, came from different walks of life for the development of a country that does not belong to you. Your ancestor might be rolling in the grave to see how you all are living. You judges, the most corrupt element in the legality of Guyana, you all are legal criminals. I'm not saying some of you may not be decent, honorable man and woman, but the majority wins. And you lawyers, you swear as legend to be a lawyer. Yes, you're living up to it. You're all are legal criminals making backdoor deals and selling people a uh, case down the road. The pain, the feel, the tears, the run, someone will answer it one day. Very soon from now, you're not going to escape it. You might run to India or Africa, they're going to bring you back. You can run to Canada and America, they're going to hand you over. The wall is closing in on you fucking hypocrites, man. You all are thieves. Then you got policemen with the badge, I call them legal criminals that you make them to become. For a position, a few extra dollar 
which is a promotion also. They will lock up innocent people and kill them if you don't like them, especially if they expose that you're a thief or you're doing something wrong. To rule a country, you must be open-minded. You must listen to the nation that put you there. It's not your given rights to lock up innocent because they say they don't like you or they don't like what you're saying. That is what the world is all about. Think what you're doing, man. Think you want to become rich. You want to do things and establish, and then you walk with bodyguard, killers. Then you hire criminals from the jail, dress them up to kill innocent people for to make it look like an accident. You make it look like a shootout. There are 2,000 ways to kill people and escape with it legally. But then there's a guard is one and time is two. So you will get up with it. It's only time learn from Chile with Pinochet and Allende. As old as he was the other day, they were handing him over to stand trial. They would hang him. Don't matter what happened to the Germans, SS, no matter how old they are, the Jews are hunting them down and handing them over and try them for crime they committed against humanity. Learn from Liberia, some other African state. Learn from the man that killed the Muslim that Bill Clinton had to drop down called Basnia. He also was tried and he died in prison. Don't let it happen to you. Because if you escape it, you children can answer it. And remember this. Once you make accident, others can do it too. Once you disappear, others can disappear you own too. Once you kill, others can do it too. And when they get power, there will be no rock for you to run and hide. It's not a threat. It's a fucking message to all you criminals. And guess what? When you all get arrested, you can call the criminals them name.